Welcome to this session of my video series. In this tutorial, I shall discuss about the header files in C and C++. I shall discuss why do we need header files. We shall also know about what should be contained in header files and also what should not be contained in header files. Finally, we shall end with an explanation of header guards. So first let us understand why are header files required. This is a simple program. The include directive, the using namespace std, function. This is a function declaration. A declaration is an introduction of a function. It tells the compiler that a function with the name fx and parameters exists. It is the job of the linker to locate its definition. But where is the definition? The definition could be in the same CPP file. Like this is one file and the definition lies here. Like it could be just after the main function. The definition could be in another CPP file of the same project. It could be in an external LIB file also. LIB is a library file. Library files are compiled files, pre-compiled files. And this is usually a very, a very common case. For example, the function printf in, is in an external lib file. The printf we very commonly use. The code for this is in an external file. The definition is in an external lib file. In our program, the definition is placed after the main file, after the main function. This definition contains the code body of the function. This program compiles correctly and runs correctly because the declaration is there, its definition is there and the main function, the call is there. The compilation will fail if this line is removed. The compilation fails if this declaration is removed. The compiler error will come at this point. The compiler doesn't know anything about fx if this declaration is missing. The function wasn't introduced. Without introduction, this will be an error. In C++, we should remember some rules, which I'll explain one by one. A function declaration should be visible before it is used. A compiler error occurs if declaration is not made prior to its use. More than one declarations of the same function are allowed. Let us see this code. Here more than one declarations, two declarations are there. 
a function can be declared more than once. This code will compile without errors. But only one function definition is allowed. More than one definition with the same signature will cause linker errors. Only one definition is allowed. Let me next take the situation with class definitions. This is a class definition. The name of the class, a function inside the class, the definition closes here. This definition is having functions also. The definition of a class, struct, union, should appear before any objects are created. It is just like a function declaration which has to appear before use. On the same pattern, the definition of a class has to appear before objects of that class are created. There can be only one definition of a class. Only one definition of a class is allowed. More than one definition will cause error. So multiple function declarations are allowed before use. Just like we used saw here. But multiple class definitions are not allowed before use. So you cannot have this same class definition appear twice before use. Just like this function declaration could appear twice. But this cannot appear twice. Now after seeing all this, let us now see why do we need headers. First of all, function declarations can be written inside headers. We can include the header files whenever we need to use that particular function. There is no need to type the declaration again and again. Once it is written inside a header, that header can be included at all the places. There is no chance of typing errors. Let us see our very first program. This is a header file that we have included always. This header file contains the declaration of printf function. You can now appreciate the use of a header file because we did not have to type any declaration here. In its absence, we would have to type the declaration here. Typing errors and many more types of errors are possible. So those all can be avoided by using headers. Similarly, the headers can contain class definitions also. Whenever we need to create an object of a class, we can include that header file. So function declarations and class definitions can be written inside headers. Sometimes a header can get included twice. It is not obvious at first sight but it occurs very commonly. Let us see how. Suppose this is a header abc.h. 
and suppose this is a header def dot h and let us suppose that this header includes the other one abc dot h is included here it is possible one header file can include other header files it occurs very frequently now what happens if both these header files are included in a cpp file for example if two directives def.h and abc.h both these header files are included in this file now you can very well see that the abc.h gets included twice once it is included directly abc.h and secondly it gets included through def.h direct path and through def.h also there will be no problem if the file abc contains a declaration there will be no problem because multiple declarations are allowed so no problem will occur because two declarations of fx can exist in one cpp file one declaration coming directly the other declaration coming through def.h the situation becomes different if this class definition is present in this header it would lead to two definitions of the same class one definition coming via abc.h the second definition traveling through def.h an error will occur two definitions of the same class the program cannot run so how to solve this problem how to ensure that this class definition reaches this file only once even if this abc.h is included more than once problem with fx will never be there it is a declaration of a function but the problem is due to this so let us see how to solve this problem header guards this problem can be solved by using header guards now i will explain how to prevent multiple class definitions this is an if conditional compilation this says if not defined hoven if this symbol is not defined then include this code these are pre processor condition this whole the code inside this if and and if is compiled only if the symbol hoven is undefined and hoven is undefined when this header file is included the first time
so during the first time this class definition gets included and at the time this causes the symbol hoven to be defined so this is a sort of a trick it acts as a sort of a guard to prevent the class definition from appearing twice the symbol hoven is already defined when this header is included the second time so this class definition is prevented from appearing the second time this is a typical arrangement of a header file suppose the file name is my file dot h the name of the header file in upper case is used as a guard symbol file name is my file dot h the guard symbol is my file underscore h function declarations are written inside this guard the class and struct definitions are also written in this guard so these will appear only once and these will then also appear only once so this is the most general arrangement of a header file what should be contained inside headers the answer is a header file should not contain anything that will allocate memory the function declarations do not cause memory allocation the class and struct definitions also do not cause memory allocation so that's why we include function declarations and class definitions in headers but variables cause memory allocation don't create variables in headers they should not be created inside headers this statement inside a header will cause multiple definition error if this header is included in two or more cpp files suppose this is one file a.cpp and this is second file b.cpp and this is a header in which we write int i this header is included here and this header is included here what will happen in the same project there will be two int i one appearing in a.cpp and the second appearing in b.cpp these two global int will cause a multiple definition error linker error so as a rule do not write anything that allocates memory in a header file header file should contain function declarations class definitions but they should not contain variable The variables should not be created inside headers thank you